Star Trek, the original series, Wolf in the Fold. Kath, a woman is doing a belly dance, complete with finger symbols, while the patrons lounge on cushions. The audience are appreciating the show. Scott, Captain, I think I'm going to like Agarius. Cut, obviously a man of good taste. Scott, you mean to tell me all these women, that's all there is? Cut, yes, yes, the Argolians think very highly of their pleasure. Look away, that's an understatement, if I ever heard one. This is a completely hedonistic society. Kirk, do you like her, Scotty? Scott, I, why shouldn't I? Kirk, good, I invited her to join us at the table. I thought you might like to meet her. Scott, now that's what I call a real captain. Always thinking of his men. The dancer comes over, bends over backwards, and comes to shimmy before returning to the small stage to finish. But, but Scotty bangs on the table and applauds. Kirk, Scotty, Scotty, in the reverse, they give, they use the lights. Scott, now no one has to tell me an old Aberdeen pub caller how to applaud, Captain. She comes over, but the man on the next table does not look too pleased with the situation. Kirk, have you, have, here, have one of our pillows. The man leaves as she sits there, as she sits, Scott. He says, it's a fine fucking night uh, tonight. I doubt if I've ever, if anyone's ever told you of the marvellous fogs we have. Aberdeen, Cara, never a word, but I'm dying to learn. Scott, well then, why don't I show you? There's nothing like a walk in the fog with a bonny lass. Cara, oh, a handsome gentleman. Why don't we? Scott, you don't mind, do you? I might even get back to the ship on time. Kirk, you won't leave, you won't leave without you, Scotty. Relax and enjoy yourself. Scott and Carl will leave. My work is never done, McCoy. My work, Jim, is the scripture stuff. Don't forget the sp- explosion that threw Scotty's bulkhead was caused by a woman. Kirk, physically, he's all right. Am I right in assuming that? McCoy, yes, yes. I mean, as a matter of fact, considerable psychological damage could have been caused. For example, his total resentment to women. Kirk, he seems to be overcoming his resentment. McCoy, of course, in my professional opinion, when he goes, gets back to the ship, he's going to hate you for making him leave, Agaris. But then he will have lost total resentment toward women. Kirk, mission accomplished as far as Scott is concerned, Bones. I know a little place across town where, where the w- women. McCoy, oh yes, I know the place. Let's go. Street, the fog hangs over very low in Agaris. Somewhere just below knee level. Copies of mid landing along. Lost in each other, Kirk works out which way to go. A sudden scream splits the, splits the night. They run towards it and find a dance on the ground. McCoy, she's dead, Jim. Kirk dived a dozen times, standing by a wall, groaning with a bloody knife in his hand. It's Montgomery Scott. Captain's log, start eight three six one four point nine. Planet Agoris 2. All of her epic shores leave Mr. Scott. Of all known suspicion of getting, having brutally murdered an Agorian woman, Chief City Administrator Mr. Hackerist has taken charge of the investigation. But has learned little of value, Calf Hackerist, a neat man in suit. I don't know what to say, gentlemen. Agorist is the last planet in the galaxy. I expect a thing like this to happen. Kirk, you're just as shocked as you are, Mr. Har- Mr. Hackerist. Hackerist, if this was your, my home planet, Rigor 4. I would have a dozen investigators working on the matter, but they don't exist here. McCoy, you're not an alien for Algaris Fall, sir? Algaris, no, Algaris hires its investigators office. Officers from other planets. Algarians aren't very efficient, you know. Gentle, harmless people. Mr. Scott, Mr. Scott, now, are you sure you've never seen this before in the life? Scott, I don't remember. Algaris, surely, sir. It is hardly, it, that is hardly helpful. We well, said that's really not. That is hardly helpful, Scott, Kurt Scotty. You left the cafe with the girl. Do you remember what that? What happened next, Scott? We were walking into the fog. As I was going, I was up ahead and lead away. I heard the girl scream. I remember starting to turn. I don't remember another thing, Kurt Scotty. You've got to remember McCoy, Jim. You move a little off a little way. If he says he can't remember, he probably doesn't. You know, Scotty. Kurt, I know a murder's been committed. McCoy, you don't think by any chance that Scotty? Kirk, I don't 
It doesn't make any difference what I think. Oh, wait, but you just, you just, but you just don't throw him to the wolves. Cut bones have a diplomatic responsibility. This happened upon error going into a tradition. If they want to arrest him, they try him, then convict, even convict him. I have to go along with it. McCoy, he's suffering from a severe concussion. Kirk, we'll do what we can. Haragris, it's not a promising, Captain. Mr. Scott, if, if Sissy, remembers nothing. I take the readings in the case of only his fingerprints, a murder weapon. Kirk, yes, Mr. Haragris. There are other people to care for about the time of the murder. Several of them left just before Mr. Scott. And the girl did, Haracus. So they have been informed by the staff. They have been located. We will question them. But the outlook for your friend is quite grim. Kirk, what's the law in these cases? Jarius, the law of Haracus is love. Our elegant, little grey-haired man enters with a woman. Haracus, gentlemen, our prefect, generous sir, sir. Captain Kirk, Dr. McCoy. Jarius, is my wife, Sipo. Haracus, and this man, Scott, the one I sent you the message about, Jarris. He does not look like a man capable of such an act. Still, it's been so long, gentlemen, for our great awakening 200 years ago. We had ways of learning the truth in such manners. We shall return to them. McCoy, the Aragorn of perfect contact. Jarris, you know of this? Kirk, yes, we've heard of it. I assumed it was a lost art. Jairus, my wife is descendant of the ancient priestess of a land. She has an astral, ast- astral gift. Gentlemen, I have come to invite you to my home. Haragus is perfect. You don't think this should... Don't you think this should be handled by an official manner from my office, Jairus? I should be handled in my own official manner, Mr. Haragus. Since I am the biggest official, gentlemen. Let us proceed to my home, where, with aid of my wife, we shall learn the truth, please. Jairus home, the Middle Eastern theme continued with spiral columns, onion dome arches, low taste windows, and plenty of cushions. Kirk, depending on your wife's emphatic, emphatic abilities, is all very well, perfect, but there's only one way we can we can find out what that it, what it is. Mr. Scott cannot remember, since you find it possible to get us back to our ship, I can beam down technician with a pseudo tricorder. McCoy, Kirk, perfect. It'll give us a detailed account of everything that's happened to Mr. Scott in the past 24 hours. My hero guess, I, ah, oh, I devise against it, perfect. It is purely an Algorian matter. Jairus, my wife must meditate a t- for a time before she's ready. I see no reason why we should not use that time to good advantage. Very well, Captain. Kirk, Kirk at Enterprise, bridge, Spock, Enterprise, Spock here. Jairus home. Kirk, Mrs. Bock, be done, technician, with a very co transcorder, please. Use these coordinates, bridge. Block the knowledge, coordinates received. Joe's home, Kirk. Kirk out. McCoy, perfect, the Trigo recorder. Tricorder will require uh, privacy be efficient. Gareth, there's a small chamber below this room. Perhaps the bit that will sacrifice, Captain. News of this fight and murder is spreading around my people. They are greatly disturbed. I've already heard talk of closing Agaris to space vehicles. Kirk, well, that would be most unfortunate. Our growing hospitality is well known, as well as its stratic, 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 stratic importance in a spaceport. Jairus, yes, I believe it's the only one of the quadrant. Hands out drink. Captain Haragus, there are people we should question. Perhaps I should go exabate the arrival here. Jairus, yes, please do so. Mr. Haragus, anyone with any connection with this murder should be present at the ceremony. A woman beams down as Haragus leaves. Karen, Lieutenant Karen Tracy reporting to be as ordered, Captain. Kirk, Lieutenant, on a 24 hour regression memory check made on Mr. Scott. Kind yes, Captain. Where shall I set up, Jairus? If you follow me, Lieutenant. Jairus and Karen leave, Kirk. Got to go operate completely with Lieutenant Tracy. Maybe we'll clear this thing up, Scott. I certainly hope so, sir. I can't stand this not knowing leaves, McCoy. Captain, on normal conditions, Scotty would have done, never done such a thing, Kirk. But that blow in the head, it, would pull, it could pull out his previous behaviour patterns to a junk heap. Okay, of course, that's a, that's the other. There's another possibility. Hurt, 
It's plain, hysterical amnesia. A man feels guilty about something, something too terrible to remember. He blots out all of his conscious memory. Jarvis returns and crosses to another doorway. Jarvis, are you ready, Chobo? So I am ready. May I have the knife, please? Jarvis, certainly. Among these other gifts, Sobo has the ability to receive impressions from inanimate objects. Do you have, do you have it, Captain? Cut the knife? No, Jarvis, but I, I put it there when we arrived. It's gone. A woman screams, fills the air. Tim McCarran, Tracy's lying face down the floor. Scott is slumped unconscious in a chair. Kirk, Scotty? McCoy, she's dead, Jim. Just like the other one. Kirk stared over and over again. Jarvis home. Jarvis to Scott. Drink this and a going supplement. Doctor, quite efficient and quite harmless. McCoy, go ahead, Scotty. Scotty, your turn, the captain? Where's Kirk? Lieutenant Tracy's dead, Scott. You were found alone in the room. Kirk, dead, Scott? Dead, but I... Kirk, what happened down here? Scott, I was sitting here. She's talking, reading, taking readings, and I was sitting here. Look, wait, is that all that happened? Scott, I tell you, I don't remember. I just put, I must have passed out. Look, wait, it could be, Jim. A head injury. Kirk, the head, that head injury? Think, Scotty. Got Captain, I've been trying. I don't, can't even believe this is really happening. Kirk, there's no way into the place for up here. Perfect. Is there any other entrance to that chamber? Jerry, yes, yes, there's a door that leads into the garden. We've been locked for years. McCoy locks can be picked, Jim. Look at Kirk, check it. McCoy leaves and Harris enters. He is accompanied by a man from the next table of one of the magicians. Musicians. Hagris. Perfect. Both of these men were the calf the night of the murder. Kirk. Where you? Where have they been during the last past minute, few minutes? Harris, Captain, if you don't mind, please, Kirk. It'll be another murder, Harrogus. One of my crew. Joyce, the same as Kara, Harrogus. Why, what's, that's terrible to the man from the text table. Where well, are you, my man? Pick you up near there. What are you doing? Well, uh, please, I know nothing about it. I didn't kill anyone. Harris, well then, who has... Has, how has this girl killed Kirk? Stabbed. There's no sign of the weapon. Haragus. Only I had the facilities. Kirk, you, you're a musician at the calf. You play for the murdered girl, Tark. Since she was a little girl, she danced for me. She was my daughter. Perfect now. How could she, could this thing have happened here? A man who did it must be found. He must be punished, Kirk. And you, you left the calf before. Scott and Kara. Jairus, is this true? Who are you? Mola. A Mola of Cabinian Street. Perfect. I was there. I have nothing to hide. Kirk, did you know Kara? Kirk, Tark. Of course I knew her. They were to be married, they, but be behaved disgracefully. Unheard of. He was jealous of her, Terrace. This is very disquieting. Mola, I know it was wrong, but I didn't, couldn't help myself. I loved her. When she went over to the table with these men, I could not stand to watch. So I left and went home, Kirk. Jersey has often been a motive for murder. Jersey, yes, I know. It is why the emotion is so strongly disapproved of here. Mola, perfect, I didn't kill anyone. I couldn't. Jairus, we shall see you, Mora. McCoy, sorry, Jim. The slot may be, may or not have been picked. It would be hard to tell, even with Tricorder. Kirk, can you prove you went directly home? Harold is Captain. May I continue the questions, please, Kirk? Yes. Well, go on then, man. You don't, just don't stand there. Jervis, Captain, Captain, you're behaving very much like a man who's desperately trying everything for to save his friend. Would you be as desperate to save Aragris as a space for, for your flower fleet? Kirk, well, of course I'm trying to save my friend. He's innocent and he hasn't been, pro- and he hasn't been proven guilty, Harris. The I remind you in the circumstances, Captain. In both cases, your friend Scott is discovered over the body. A lady claimed to remember nothing. So, um, I am ready, Gen- Travis. Travis, gentlemen, all sit down, please. Everyone sits around the central blazier. Kirk, on one, on one condition, perfect. Perfect. The room must be sealed so that no one can leave or enter while ceremony is going on. Jarvis flicks a row of switches and the downstairs are closed. Ways are closed. Room is sealed, Scott. Captain, do you mean my neck is going to have to make, my neck is going to have to depend on some spooky mumbo jumbo? 
Kurt's communicating beeps. Kurt, Kirk here. Spock, Spock here, Captain. May I have a word with you? Kirk, yes, excuse me, gentlemen. Moves away from the group. Yes, Mr. Spock? Bridge, Spock. We're concerning the situation you related to us. In my opinion, our going in for petty conduct is an interesting phenomenon, but the technique is not sound enough to, to risk a man's life. Joe's home. Kirk, what do you say, Mr. Spock? Bridge, sim- Scott. Spock, simply... We bring Mrs. Scott on board the Ventures and employ our computers to learn the truth. Joe is home, Kirk. These are proud people. They have their own customs, their own laws, and while we have accepted to them, it's absolutely imperative that this matter be resolved according to our going law. Is that clear, Spock? Spock, quite clear, Captain. Lerm is home, Kirk. I don't, I don't like it any more than you do, Spock. There's nothing we can do about it. Kirk out. Everyone is holding hands around the blaze here, so bow. As we begin, let the circle not be broken. Concentrate on a flame which burns upon the altar of truth. Yes, there's something here. Something terrible. I feel its present. Fear, anger, hatred. Anger feeds the flame. Oh, there is evil here. Monstrous, terrible evil. Consuming hunger. Hatred for all the natives. Hundred, hatred of women. Hunger that women. A hatred. Hunger that never dies. It's strong, overpowering. An ancient terror. Its name. Badras, cursed rhetoric. Devouring all life. All light. A hunger that will never die. Rhetoric. Rhetoric. The lights go out and she screams. When the lights come back on again, the flame has gone out. Scott is standing there but holding Silver in his arms. He lets go and she falls forward across McCoy's lap. There's a knife in her back. Later, McCoy freely murders and Scott's the only possible answer each time. McCoy, I don't care what such is indicating to him. Scott simply couldn't have done it. Kirk, no me? No, but the blow on his head could. Scott, no, Captain. Scotty, I'm sorry. I don't, can't remember whether you did it or not. Hey, guys, I agree with you, Captain. I'm perfectly satisfied Mr. Scott is guilty. Kirk, but not responsible. Kirk, but it is, that is unproven, sir. Kirk, we will prove it He's if he's insane. Jervis, General, please. How could any man do such a monstrous things? Kirk, that's what we hope to find out, sir. Jervis, Mr. Scott. Scott, yes, sir, I swear to you. I did not kill your wife or the other ladies, Harris. By your own admission, you know whether you did or didn't. You so-called fairy memory. Kirk, Mr. Harris, on the rarest we can make a recording of the registration of Mr. Scott's conscious, subconscious mind. You tell us what happened to him in the past. Look, okay, that would be, be no room for doubt. We know, after all, the, all that's what we are, are we're after, isn't it? Perfect. Prefect? To know? Jervis, yes, sir. Claim to remember nothing about the murders. You, sir, Claire, Jervis, you, sir. Claim to remember nothing about the murders. Scott, I. Jervis, is this so? You may even have killed without knowing it. Will your machines tell us this? Kirk, no doubt will remain. Jervis, very well. We'll go into your ship. Will he is guilty of face the ancient death penalty is barbaric and horrible. Though they may be ancient penalty for murder it was death by slow torture. The law has never changed never been changed. Do you understand that, Mr Scott? Mr Scott, I sir, I understand. Cats and Dogs, Stardate 3615.4. With Mr. Scott in a technical state of arrest, we have boomed aboard the Enterprise to continue the investigation. Briefing room. Kirk, each testifier will sit here, place his hand on his plate. Any deviation from the actual truth will be immediately detected and relayed to this computer. 
which will in turn notify us. Dr. McCoy is already fed the work of computer medical reports. Our laboratory experts, laboratory experts, are slamming the murder weapon. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll give the data to the computers for analysis. Shall we begin? Jarvis nods. Kurt, Mr. Scott, will you take the stand? Scott sits on his raised chair, puts his right arm on the sensor plate. Yet to no time does the camera let us see his finger. Kurt, computer, identify verification. Computer, working. Lieutenant Commander Montgomery Scott, show number SE. One nine seven five four dash T verified. Kirk, subject's present physical con- condition. Computer working. Subject recently received severe blow on skull damage healing. Some peripheral anomalies. Kirk, significant anomalies to account for periods of functional amnesia. Computer working negative. Okay, Captain. I don't see how this can be. Kirk, unless Scott is lying about his loss of memory. Scott, I'm not lying, Captain. I can't remember a thing about the first two murders. Kirk, computer, accuracy scan. Computer, subject, no relaying, relaying, account, accurate account, no physiological changes. Scott, Captain, I can't, didn't black out when Mr. Jarvis' wife was killed. Kirk, all right, Scott, let's have it. Scott, we were holding hands when the lights went out. The circle was broken. I heard the poor lady scream. I was only... I was near the head of the table anyway. Went towards her. But there's something in my way. Kirk, something? You mean someone? Scott, no, Captain. Something cold. It was like a stinking draft out of a slaughterhouse. But it wasn't really there. Like it, like lots of words. If you know what I mean. Kirk, computer. Computer, subject, relaying, accurate account, no serological changes. Kirk, all right. Let's hit it on the head, Scotty. Did you kill Subo? Cut Scott. No, Captain, I'm sure of that. Hargreaves, he must, he's, he'd been saying that right along. It does not n- mean, no, mean no more than it did before. Kirk Scotty, try and lie to me. How old are you? Scott, 21, sir. Two, sir. Computer, inaccurate, inaccurate, data in error. Kirk, are the lights went out, Mr. Scott? Where, who was holding your hand, Scott? Mora on the on one side and you on the other side, Captain. Mora. But that doesn't mean anything, Captain. The room that small, the lights were out. Anyone would have had time to kill the lady. Helgis, but I remind you, he found Mrs. Scott holding her in his arms, a knife still to drive us to, I'm sorry about that, sir. I must, a knife still in her back and blood in his hands. Cut the verifier showed that he was telling the truth when he said he didn't kill her. Helgis, there are two other women murdered. Cut, Mrs. Scott, did you kill Cara? Scott, I don't remember. Kurt, do you, did you kill Lieutenant Tracy? Scott, I don't, can't remember. Kurt, computer accuracy scan. Computer, subject relaying accurate account. No psych- psychological damage changes. Jarvis. Well, that proves that he's telling the truth when he says he doesn't remember. Haragus, this is a waste of time. Scott, off, Kirk, off we take the test from here. We ran a psycho tray called analysis, Mr. Scott's memory, which is what we wanted to do on the surface. That will give us a complete record. Will you satisfy you, Mr. Hargis? Hargis, well, if you can see, convince me that the machine is in capable error, it shows me, shows he did not kill the woman. Kirk, that's all, there'll be no error. As to the rest of it, we need to show you can step down, Mr. Scott. If you have no objections, Hargis, I object to the entire procedure. Jervis, Mr. Hargis, we are here of my authority. We will cooperate. Hargis, perfect. I know you mean well. Perfect, I know you know me well. I've had experience. Jervis, for the time being, we should set Captain Kurtz's explanation. Machine's accuracy is fair and factual. I don't ever reserve my, to my, for myself right to make the final determination. Kurt, we can ask no more, Mr. Moller. Will you take the stand? He does so, Kirk. Where were you at the time Akara was murdered? Merla, I'm not sure. Walking home, I assume I was angry. But anger is a relative state, sir. Were you angry enough to do violence? Merla, i never done violence in my life. I don't think I could. you got to believe me. I didn't kill her. I couldn't. I loved her. She loved me, Tarak. That's not true. You might think she loved him. But she didn't. She told me. 
He was jealous all the time. They fought constantly. Kirk, did you kill Lieutenant Tracy? Mola, no. Kirk, did you kill Super? Mola, no. Kirk, very, computer, variation scan. Computer, subject, relaying accurate truth that through some statements, subjective, 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 no physical, psychological changes. Kirk, all right, Mr. Mola. I think you can step down now. Servers so spoke of hunger that never dies. Something that fries on fear, terror, and death. Mrs. Spock, maybe, we're going about it the wrong way. Let's assume that Super was sensitive. That she did sense something, something evil. Kirk's sensibility of a certain ugly woman is the d- 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 fact, Captain. Jervis, my poor Super's talent was genuine, gentlemen. She told me you the tr- was true, Kirk. All right, then. What was all it, was it she said exactly? Monstrous evil, ancient terror, McCoy that devours all life and light. Kirk, you said something else. Words that doesn't make sense. You can look at it, yes. Redrick, Bradress, and uh, Kelsler. Kirk, obscure, meanest words, Spock. To us, perhaps, but not to the computer. Kirk, I'm now, Mr. Scott. Check them out. Spock, computer and logistic bank. Definition, following word, Redrick. Computer working, negative finding. Kirk, Spock, there's no such word in logistic bank, computer, affirmative, computer, Spock, scan all other computers, computer working, affirmative, a proper name, Kirk, define, computer, redneck, source, earth, 19th century, language, English, nickname for mass, murder of women, oven, earth, cinnamon, Jack the Ripper, Kirk, Jack the Ripper, Harrogus, that's ridiculous. He lived hundreds of years ago. Tark, man couldn't survive all those centuries. Jarvis, just before she died, my wife said, is a hunger that never dies. Tark, but all men die. Kirk, yes, all men die. And Jack the Ripper couldn't be alive if he was, a, if he were a man. But everything we've, uh, but everything we've uncovered points to Jack the Ripper, which is a, is an impossibility, isn't it? Or is it? But humans and human race make up only a small potential to life forms we know of. His entities possessed a long eternity, extremely long life, virtually immortal, immortal. Kirk, we know that someone or something killed these three women. It's impossible for it to be human. Yeah, it has to be something else, something driven to kill. McCoy, Silva said it feeds on death. But in a strict scientific sense, Doctor, we all feed on death. Even for the vegetarians, McCoy, yes. But she said more than that. No, not just death, but fear. He said it also feeds on fear, Spock, which would tend to support the proposition. A murder is not human. Deriving substance for emotion is not unknown in the universe. Fear is among the strongest and most violent of the emotions. Harrogus, perf, surely prefect. This has gone far enough. Someone, some man has killed three women. We have the prime substitute in our hands. Are we going to let him go and start the chasing ghosts? Kirk, no, Mr. Harris, not ghosts. Possibly I'm not human, but not ghosts. Mr. Spock, check out the possibilities. Spock, computer, digest log readings. A past so many, five or seven minutes. Correlate your five processes. Compare it with life forms register. Question. Could such an entity within discussed limits exist in the galaxy? Computer, the Delia of Alpha Centauri 5, derives nourishment from the emotion of love, a significant precinct for existence of creature, nature, and unknown, which could exist of the emotion of fear. Swap, computer. A linked, most likely compound of such entity. But, working. To meet with the specified requirements, entity which could exist within a form of convenient sense, most possibly, probably, massive energy of highly corrosive electromagnetic field. Kirk, computer, could you describe entity assume physical form? Computer, affirmative, present, medalist, crowd feature, a male, alpha, majorist, one. Hogus, fairy tales, ghosts and goblins, Kirk, no, I've seen the metro myself. It's a natural state of its gaseous. It's at its rest, it's solid. Mr. Spock, let's assume the existence of this creature. But I point out that Jack the Ripper slew a will in his heart, most populous city in the England earth, as I've never identified. Kirk, never seen lightly, does it? 
But I suggest the possibility of a dramatic screen binds all but the victim to the presence of the killer. Jarvis, is that possible? McCoy, extremely possible. There are many such examples as this in nature. Helgris, this is fancy. We all know the murderer is sitting right here. You're trying to cloud the issue. I've got the mind to... Jarvis. I am satisfied the cooks of this investigation is valid enough. Please be seated, Mr. Helgris. Cuggle, right, Mr. Scott. What do we have? A creature without form that feeds on horror and fear. Must assume a physical shape to kill. Coat, I suspect, preys on women because women are more easily and more deteriorately terrified, drawing to more, more sheer horror, horror than male of the species. Coat, computer, criminal law files. Cases of unknown murder, mass murders of women since Jack the Ripper. Computer, working, 1932, Shanghai, China, Earth, seven women, knife to death, 1974, Kiev, USR. Uh, five women, knife to death, two, one, five, oh, five, Russian colonies, eight women, knife to death, two, one, five, six, Hellodrophicus, Alpha, Auditorium, two, ten women, knife to death. These are, these are a professional, they are additional examples. Scott, Bart, Captain, he places a line directly between Algorus and Earth. Cut, yes, when a man moved into the galaxy, a thing they moved with him. Can you do it? the poor proper name. Calisia Belarus. Can you do it? Working Calisia, name given to unknown, named, and uh, identified mass murder of women on Delt Planet Delta Belarus, name given to identified mass murder of women on Planet Regal 4, digital data, murders of Regal 4, occurred one solo year ago, all had turned towards Mr. Hagerist. Kirk, you come from how you go for? How is well? Many people do. Not a crime, Kirk. No, but you would ve- what we are investigating is. Would you mind taking the stand, Mr. Hagris? Hagris, I will not. Jarvis, Mr. Hagris. Hagris, perfect. This is perfect. This has gone far enough. I will not take the stand. Well, I would appreciate, appreciate, I can appreciate your st- situation, sir. But your entire just civil disturbance locally. You, if it's the only of which we search, a well better position from which to kill with impunity. Okay, just after you left the Harris house, you discovered the murder weapon, life was missing. Kirk, uh, you were accounted for for when Lieutenant Tracy was murdered, Spock. Anything which feeds on fear and terror, find a perfect hunting ground on our planet. Without violence, without any ham- where the hamlets are peaceful as sheep, anything would be as hungry as a wolf in that fold. Harris, gentlemen, I know something of the law. You're engaging in sheer speculation. Kirk, perhaps Mr. Spock with murder weapon. Kirk, computer, report analysis of exhibit A. Computer working, exhibit A, on visual, compositional blade, hyperborium, composition of handle, murder, murder rate, details of curving on handle, conform to flow cart, forms, specifically place of origin, indicated place of origin. Spock, specify pint of origin. Computer artifact produced by heal people, Algorus fever, a region, uh, planet, Regal 4. Kirk, now then, Mr. Hercules. But Hercules tries to break, make a break for it. Even landing a good kick, very good kick on Kirk, who repays him with an even better right cross. Hercules falls the floor. McCoy is dead, Jim. Kirk, but that's impossible. The lights dim eerily. Kirk, very, very, Jack, very, Jack, very, Jack, very, Jack, very, Jack. Merit's medical laughter. The lights come back. Spock, the computer will not respond to those controls. Then he's unquestionably controlling it. Kirk, the computer controls the ship. Voice, red jack, red jack, red jack, red jack, red jack. The query sits Scotty, give you a hand. He pop Hogris up the chair, leaning against the table. Spock is no goose, Captain. The bypass circuits are blocked. Kirk, audio off, Spock, Captain. Scott, Captain, the video screen, the image of huge, hot, swirling flames, or lava, anywhere. It's, it, anyway, it's fear-inducing. Tacros, a young, a young yeoman. A yeoman. What's happening, Captain Jarvis? What does it mean? Kirk, it means that thing can control the entire population, operation ship, good life support system, Mara. You mean it could kill us? Well, indeed, it would try, but not immediately. We know it feeds on fear and terror. There are nearly 400 people, 40 humans aboard this ship. Surely it would try to breed fear and terror before it kills. Kirk, all hands to 
This is the captain. Stay on your post. Remain calm. Captain out. Bones, what's the sensitive situation? Kirk, I got some stuff that would recognize an active volcano. Kirk, good. Start distribution immediately. The longer we can hold back that fear, the more time we have to get that thing out of the computer. Perfect. Perfect, you'll be safer here. Spot, come with me. It's a corridor, Spot. Spot, don't you have a com- you don't don't you have a composite scan unit? Building computer banks? But yes we do, Captain. But with the entity in control. But Kurt on these certain methodical problems which could simply cannot be solved, but indeed it, it could focus the attention of the computer on one of them. Kirk, that ought to do it. Terminus Kirk spot, the door nearly closes before he's at the inside Kirk spot. Apparently our friends learn very quickly. Kirk too quickly bridge. The lights indicate they are going down quickly, not up. Kirk, spot, free fall. Kirk, out of control. Put on the manual bridge. The, the, the start, they stay going up. The alarm goes off. Kirk, it, that was due to be next. Life support malfunction. Kirk, spot. You don't have much time, Captain. Kirk, you said it yourself, spot. You want terror, not just, but not, not just death. Bridge, Zulu. Captain, the life support system already jammed. Kirk, all right. May you say to Mr. Zulu? So I, sir, voice, Captain, wasting your time, Kirk. Cut that thing off, voice. You and all your board your ship are about to die, Kirk. Try and cut that thing off, Kirk. Sulu, this is the first time I heard of malfaction threatening us. Kirk, mind your post, Miss, mind your post, Mr. Sulu, to all the crew, prepare your manual overrides. You may need them. So I, sir, Kirk crouches down by Spock and the life support system. Kirk, Spock, Spock. And then more environmental levels are being restored, Captain. That, that, that will be not, not a long last a few minutes. It will not, but it will not last long. A few hours at best, Kirk. It'll be enough time that let's get at it. So then what's going on, Mr. Captain? Kirk, never mind, Mr. Sulu. No centers. Kirk, Trent Reiser. Yeah, nurse, yes, sir. Kirk, everyone, including myself, yourself, Kirk, yes, sir. Voice, you cannot stop me now, Captain. I'll be no good. You'll be no good. I control the circuits. You cannot silence me. You cannot reach me. Your mental will rise of extremely limited life. Kirk, Spock, Spock, proceeded, Captain. I will need you some time. Kirk, yes, I know. Race, soon all control will restore to me. There's nothing you can do to prevent it. Kirk, I will destroy this ship. You'll destroy yourself. Kirk, I am without ending. I have resisted from the dawn of time. I shall be, live beyond its end. And in the meanwhile, I shall feed on this time. I do not need a knife. Be, you will all die horribly at searing pain. Spock, it's attempting to generate terror, Captain. Face, I can cut off your ocean and sacrifice, sacrifice you. Suffocate you. Captain, Captain, suppose the Captain gets his injection and grins. Who oh, there he is. He t- talks too gloomy. Kirk. Man your post, mister. If any of the other systems go out, switch a manual override. And above all, don't be afraid. So with an armful of this stuff, I wouldn't be afraid of a supernova. Kirk. Spot ready. Kirk. Implement. Kirk. Spot. Computer. This is a class A compulsory directive. Compute. The last digit. The value of pi. Voice. No, 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 no. Spock. As we know, the value of pi is transient neutral figure. Without resolution, the computer banks work out this problem to the excuse, inclusion of all else, to its order, we order it to stop. Kirk, yes, it will keep the thing busy for a while. Our gains will be the first to panic. Let's go back to the briefing room. So that I wonder who it is we're not supposed to be afraid of. Briefing room, McCoy is in the process and not collecting the group. Scott feels no pain, that's for sure. Scott, well, sir? Okay, I don't, I don't very much whether the computers were, were inhabited by more than a couple of fugitives for a while. Well, there is a resistance, Captain. A directive is succeeding. Bank of the bank is returning to, to the problem. Okay, you, if you drove it out, the computers, it has to go somewhere else, Kirk. How are you, how are you doing, McCoy? I've almost finished. Just Jarvis and me. Michael laughed over the intercom. But computer, computer control, Captain. Identity is fled, Kirk. Yes. Where to, Bones? What's happened? 
The things into the chocolate body. Well, okay, well, you might think up knitting, but nothing more than violent than that. Kirk, you say everyone has shot you, but you and Jarvis, McCoy, you, and you and Mrs. Scott, Spock, Captain. Kirk, well, I'm willing to take a chance on Mr. Spock. Better give yourself a shot, Doc. McCoy, no, I don't think so. I think I ought to stay clear. Kirk, do as I say. McCoy checks himself. Kirk, extend your arm, Mr. Jarvis, for Jarvis. Goes Kirk's throat. No, kill you, die. Make yourself a Kirk, and ministers a neck pinch. Hagrid's Comes back to life, snatches up the knife and grabs Roman Tegris. Hagaris, everyone keep back or I'll kill her. I'll kill her. Keep back. McCoy, you better be careful. You're going to hurt someone with that thing. Hagaris pushes hostages at McCoy and tries to attack Kurt. He's easy defeated, Hagaris. You suffer, you suffer, because Spock injects him. I'll kill all of you. Kurt, let's get him to the transport room quick. Harris, you'll die, you'll die, everybody will die, Corridor. Kirk carries a giggling Harris. If I'm his lift when Carl or Spock follows, Harris. Kill, kill, kill you all. Just middle room. Deep space, full power. Where is angle dispersation? Matane, Carl. No matter, no need to get excited, Captain. I'll do it. A lay Harris on the pad. Kirk, you'll do it, Spock. Harris, everyone die, you'll all suffer. You beamed out, Carl. You didn't need to have to shove me, Mr. Spock. I've gone round to it. McCoy and Scott enter and with big greens. McCoy, well, Jarvis, it's all right. Kirk, well, what do you do? What do you do with that thing, Captain? Did you send it back to the planet? Kirk, no, we beamed it out to open space, Scotty. Well, it's possible to respiration. McCoy, that thing can't die. Spock, it possibly not. His consciousness may continue for some time. Because it's and a billion separate parts of energy, playing forever in space, powerless. Kirk, but he will not, he will die finally. You seem very happy about the whole thing. Scott, why not? For a while there, I didn't know whether he's innocent or guilty. Kirk, bones, how long will it take to this tranquilize to wear off? Well, I don't know, five or six hours? I'll give him a pretty big shot, Jim. Kirk, yes, I see that. Well, Mrs. Spock, for the next five or six hours, we're going to have to be the happy. We're going to have the happiest crew in the space, of course. You won't get much work done. Spot, Captain, since you came to Algorist to rest, I just you take advantage of opportunity. Cut, that's a splendid idea, Mr. Scott. I know careful the women are so McCoy. I'm a place, Jim. But let me see. Cut, you gentlemen, in your condition, you gentlemen, your condition, don't be ridiculous, Mr. Scott, this calf, the women that are so men, men will look, no, I guess not, alone. Kirk goes to the door and persists for everyone to leave. Kirk, gentlemen.